Kathy, meet me tomorrow at the Tenekeel Outpost. I need to talk to you about the challenge. I've got some wacky ideas that you may be interested in hearing about. I'll see you there at two. Bye! Today is the day. We are finally going to get some details on what this next challenge will bring us. Let's jump right in and converse. Hello, I am here to talk to you. You're not Callie. Uh, there's that voice I've been expecting. Marie? Where's Callie? Isn't she usually here with you? Yes, she was with me yesterday. But the next thing I know, she disappears the next day. I checked all over the outpost and the five sectors, but there was no sign of her. Hmm, odd. Have you even checked Octavio's arena? <sighs> I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt of her doing it a third time, but might as well check it out just in case. Oh, uh, would you look at that. Remind me to break those shades once this is over. She's obsessed with wearing them. Well, well, well. I thought we were supposed to meet at the outpost, unless Octavio captured you again. I told you many times to leave those alone. Why? I'm seeing a whole new world them. And to think I was going to relax today. Agent 4, please snap her out of it. Alright, I'm coming in. Just getting a good shot. What? Uh, Marie? What was in that shot? It was the usual low tide ink that I used to It was the usual low tide ink that I used to stun Callie. Turns out we've been turned into stick figures. So we're stuck like this? Is he okay? Uh, I think he zoned out. What happened? Agent 4, is everything okay? You fainted in front of us and now you look like you've seen something out of place. Maybe he was just tired. He probably didn't get much sleep lately. That was weird. Callie's perfectly normal. Marie doesn't seem worried at all. I suppose that was just a dream. Anyway, I should proceed with what I came here for. Callie, I'm here to talk to you about that message you gave me yesterday. Something about revitalizing the challenge. Mm-hmm. You see, Epi, everyone's been constantly asking questions like, Where's the fortune challenge, Callie? Are you going to bring in something new, Callie? When's the release date for Splatoon 3, Callie? Breaking the fourth wall, I see. At least you'll be able to answer two of those questions, right? What are your ideas? You're going to love this. And that's everything I've got! Oh my god, you're a genius. She's been thinking about it for a while. Just to make sure it'll be as fun as possible for every Cephalo kid involved. Indeed. From the looks of things, you seem pretty excited to relay this to everyone else. Am I right? I am. Thanks a lot. I'll be sure to tell everyone that now. You both take care of yourselves. Stay fresh. Talk to you again soon. Watch your step. That's weird. This is the first time our agent has zoned out in front of us like that. Carrie thinks it might be him being tired, but I feel like there's another reason behind it. Regardless, I hope you'll be okay. Well, I'm sure many of you are wondering what Callie told me, and don't worry, I'm about to explain everything right here, right now. But before I go ahead and talk about what this project is all about, please check out Vic Vion and Minty Moon for their amazing performances, because I really could not have done this without them, and if I did do this without them, then it'd be a lot of text box editing. Anyway, <clears throat> what is Callie Project? You may or may not be wondering. Callie Project is a massive collaboration between myself and all other creators in the Splatoon community where they go to the Octo Canyon, approach Callie, and receive a random weapon and play a few games with it. As the years went by, the challenge got more and more fun and exciting, 
with different kinds of challenges being placed. That's pretty much the basics of what this is. But let's get into the new spicy details that everyone has been waiting for. From now on, you will not have to approach Kali to get a random weapon. Instead, I have made an entire wheel for participants to spin and fully randomize what weapons they receive. This is a bit of a weird one for me since there was a plan that involved Kali, but because it didn't work as I thought, I have to end up using this as a backup plan. Anyway, every single weapon that exists in Splatoon 2 is listed in this wheel, and you can either get really really lucky or really really unlucky and now it's time for the insane list of challenges on my previous Kali project each challenge was given depending on weapon types and while a few are still exclusive there are many more than what we had previously and without further ado sit down for five minutes because I'm about to explain a bunch of things here is another wheel Kali's Wheel of Misfortunate Challenges. It consists of many basic, intermediate, and expert challenges. In total, there are about 26 of them. Some of them should be popping on the screen right now because we'll be here forever if I end up explaining all of these by talking. I do suggest pausing the video if you want to know more about a specific challenge, whether it be one you got or one you're intrigued by. Let's talk about the color of the names though. Green means the absolute easiest of challenges possible, orange means intermediate so it might be a little challenging but not too much, and then there's red which means you're signing up for trouble you poor soul. To answer a few questions, you are allowed to bring in other people to do this challenge, whether it be for turf wars, ranked battles, or even league battles. Feel free to add these challenges on top of each other if you want to make this really difficult. And I cannot stress this enough, but these challenges are not a requirement. Please do not feel pressured to do them if you don't want to do this, because at the end of the day, these were added to bring in something new to the table. If you want to do it in the traditional style, then please be my guest. I am very proud of the selection that we have here. If you want to use this wheel, it's there as a link in the description and also in the pinned premiere comment. But now you might be asking, But Appy, how do I submit towards Kali Project? Well, I'm glad you asked that random viewer on the internet. To submit a video for this project, you'll have to upload your video on YouTube and put in either hashtag Kali Project or hashtag Kali Project with a 3 in the title or description of your video. If you have successfully uploaded it, feel free to let me know on Twitter at EpiYT by tagging me on a tweet. If you don't have a Twitter account, there is another way. You can also put in at Epi in the description of your video so that I'll know. Just make sure it's the right one though. It can be public, but also unlisted if you don't want many people to see your whole video. And that's everything I have to say about this project. One last thing before you go though. Everyone's been speculating that Nintendo might be doing something cool with Splatoon 3, like a test fire in mid-July. And because I don't want that to get in the way of this project, I have decided that I'll be opening submissions on the 17th of July. You may feel free to prepare your videos ahead of time and upload them on this specific date. But what is the deadline, you might be asking? August 7th will be the deadline, which is one whole month before Splatoon 3's release, which I'm slowly losing my brain cells for. I'm so excited to be working on a project of this scale once again. Keep in mind that there are still a bunch of other surprises coming this month. Thanks so much for your patience. I know it's been a long wait for many people, but now is the time for you to get yourselves out there and of course, have fun. Also, don't forget to stay hydrated and touch grass. Bye.